Welcome everyone. Hi. Hey, this is the March Psy Cards Earth or Global Prediction Series. I will pick the cards up in a minute and shuffle and we will see what's going to come up. If you recall, in February we had the puzzle card turn up and we're often unsure as to what might be referenced when the puzzle card is in the game. Um, I often think of space related issues because that has shown up in the past few times that the puzzle card has been around and it was acknowledged on February the 22nd I believe that they have found uh, a dwarf star with seven potential habit habitable planets in the star system of Aquarius which is 40 light years from Earth. So that was new revelation information pertaining to the puzzle of life. That was one way of looking at the puzzle's energies anyhow. So let's see what's in store for March 2017. The scales, the liar, peace, father, the stars again, and the warrior again. Okay, let's have a little look at this picture here before us. So, if we move to the first card on the left, the scales card, I often think of that as being something that is out of balance and needs to be brought back into balance. Now this can be from two perspectives. It can be from the perspective of emotions amongst humans on the planet. So we can see out of balance emotions. And we also see that with the warrior present here. We can also um, pinpoint it down to even closer analogies. Because that is a tree, we think of the family tree. So we sometimes think of family issues where... There is a crime committed within a family that is brought to public attention and quite often globally. So it can be very sad crimes that either parents or siblings or brothers or something like that commit against themselves and families are broken apart and torn asunder by it. Now there's another way of looking at that card and it's about earthquakes because the tree is attached to the land and the scales are hanging off the tree and there are apples that have fallen on the ground which indicates to me that there has been shaking. Now because they look like apples although the tree doesn't look like an apple tree I'm not sure what fruit they actually are but I think of them as apples and that's um, therefore that's a part of the globe that has apples at the moment which is kind of autumn or harvest time and that's the southern hemisphere at the moment so this could be relative to quakes in the southern hemisphere part of the globe I've also seen this card turn up when there are quakes in New Zealand that are probably more significant than normal or more frequent than normal so we'll keep an eye out on that it doesn't just have to be New Zealand it can be any part up and around to the equator type area including up through um, Indonesia and the Philippines even although I know that is over the equator. So coming back to the next card the liar card again he I don't know why this is the case but he has always given me the feeling of shaking as well he's on one leg he's hopping around and there is something that has fallen from him and to the ground and he's in a building or a house which also gives me the feeling of shaking. So those, <clears throat> those two cards together indicate a bigger shake and where houses or buildings are affected one way or another So and people because there's a person in it. We will have to keep a, an eye on what that particular energy means and where it means. It could be more than just in the southern hemisphere. We could be looking up two in the northern hemisphere, something to keep our eye on. The liar is also representative of hidden agenda issues and often with politicians or 
prominent figureheads around the globe, but often within leaders of companies. Now the liar has pulled his mask off there, so sometimes we are given the ability to see behind um, political agenda or new policies or issues that are being debated and sometimes this gives us information that we didn't know existed before about why these policies might have been quickly brought into play or how they've been forced through a parliament but often it means they're wrong and they need knocking out and rechanging. We come to the next card, and this is an interesting juxtaposition of how the cards are laid down. We have peace, and then underneath it and slightly to the side, the warrior. And they're the two total opposite energies of each other. So there feels like this push-pull, push-pull for the whole month of March, as if one minute we've got something happening and the next minute it's going in another direction. So there's tension. That's maybe the correct word. It's tension of opposites. So whatever that's going to mean, you have to analyse that and think, is that literal or physical or emotional or deeper than that? With the peace card, I usually find when he comes out, even though it's a beautiful card to look at and it would seem to be set in somewhere like a church, it generally means there's less peace than normal. And given that, again that the worry is attached to it, that's kind of even more volatile. So we've got a couple of, in fact, everything's doubled itself up in this reading really interestingly. The peace and the warrior are doubling their energies. The scales and the liar are doubling their quake shaking energies. And the father and the stars are also united together and they're doubling their amplification of things about space and stuff coming from the skies. We'll move into that in a minute. Coming back to the peace card, as I said, it normally denotes more agitation, more activation, more aggression, um, yeah, more movement. So the, the rays of sun shining on the card towards that beautiful Mandela at the back are often the activation point of something within us at a very deep level. So this can be the rays of the sun shining. And so this could mean there could be quite a strong sun or solar activity for the month of March that has repercussions for us here on Earth, as well as possibly for some of the other planets in our solar system. So that can mean extensive coronal holes or even some large... Um, coronal ejector, which we haven't had a lot of lately because the sun is in a relatively quiet phase. But when we get extra active sun uh, energy, when it sends out particles into space which come towards the planets, that bombards us with magnetic frequencies which alter a lot of things on the planet, all, all living life, and especially creatures that live by the magnetic um, inference or sonar such as the whales, the dolphins, um, birds, a lot of animals actually work by electrical sonar fields. We do too but at an emotional level most humans aren't aware of that but oftentimes when we get really big energy impact levels from the sun our emotions are also disturbed as so as the planet itself. So we can find large storms forming, which we've already had a really bad month in February of massive storms, and that showed up with the libido card. We can get the tropical cyclones, the tornadoes. Um, you can see an increase in volcanic activity and earthquake activity when events around the sun occur. So... Those are the kind of analogies of the peace card. We move on to the father card and we see he's pointing directly to the sky as is the sun beneath him. So we think again reference to the sun, S-O-N and S-U-N and they're right next to each other. So there's a, a, another double up there about the sun. When he's pointing to the sky, in my mind, he's looking at objects up there. So there is the possibility that we will see things coming from the sky in the month of March, which could be 
meteorites, asteroids, um, or things falling from the sky, even things like technological equipment or space exploration issues uh, with problems. There could be things, even planes. Unfortunately, when this card is out, we often see plane issues um, yeah, sometimes coming, unfortunately, from the sky when they shouldn't be. So, plenty of activity in our skies and also about planets, planetary lineup, um, transits, all those different types of things are in reference here. As well, they are holding a bow and arrow, so that's a warrior-like figure. So in fact, we've got warrior down here and we have warrior energy here as well. I think March, boy, I think she's going to be a pretty turbulent month actually as we analyse these cards. They're very introspective and they're quite deeply activated. Um, we go to the next card, the stars, which was out in February, so it's duplicating its message for March. We found out about the new astronomical information, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So there's potentiality for more information and more activity around our understanding of the universe around us. Also technological information, also planetary lineups and what is happening in the skies in March. There could be some asteroids or um, comets in particular as well traversing the skies or heading towards the sun. In fact, I do think we might have some big comets coming in in February and March. They might be visible to the eye and also comets disturb the flux as well. So the stars also has a degree of uncertainty and unknown effect to it and it sort of says the energy or the outcome is still undecided on certain matters and it's in the hands of the stars. We come to the warrior, the last card, which I don't know if it's the overall energy of the month, but he kind of takes position down there on his own. Um, I pretty much described his energies last month, but we'll go over them again. And I'll pull the card up a little bit closer so that you can see it. The warrior has several issues around him. The fact that he is a warrior is number one. He's dressed in fighting regalia and he's a very determined aggressive figure so oftentimes this means people are in a position where their um, warrior energies or aggressions are coming to the fore and this can be politically it can be within countries it can be within your personal relationships or families um, it's just more argumentative downright I'm gonna win type attitudes around and of course March comes into the Aries energy and Aries is ruled or governed by the planet Mars which is the warrior planet. If you look in the background of the warrior card you see um, a whole bunch of tents which is a very old depiction on this picture going dating back to the 1100s or a period along those lines and there are castles in the background as well. So this sometimes gives the energy of parts of the globe that were humanized or populated um, very long time ago. So that's the Middle Eastern area parts of the globe through the India, Pakistan and also through parts of Europe where humanization was around at that point. For instance, I live in New Zealand and um, Europeans have only been here in New Zealand for 200 years. And before that were the local indigenous people, but they certainly don't go back to the timeline of places like Europe or the Middle East. So there can be warrior energies up there, terrorism could be involved. There can also be um, earthquakes related in those parts of the world when this card is around. Now if you look closely, there's also some sort of river in the background by the moat on the castle at the bottom to the left of the warrior and there appears to be surging water as if something's broken through and it's all gushing out. Now that's what gives me the feeling of severe weather patterns and rivers flooding and landslides and slips, um, massive surges of torrents of water, sometimes like an inland tsunami um, but inevitably huge, forceful, potent, powerful forces of Mother Nature which often incite 
huge weather systems and again that can be in these areas of the globe as well as other parts as well. So I think we've covered off a fairly um, detailed scenario of the potentiality of those cards. It would take a little bit more time to delve deeper than that and to get into experience more what each card means. It can be done and I do love to hear everyone's comment and input regards these cards and what your own personal feeling is because that's how this particular scenario and this particular system of divination can take itself a step further. Everybody's input is invaluable and is worthy of having being said and noted as well. So thanks guys, I say to you all have a safe and happy march and um, yeah, be careful and go out and also be happy and have some fun as well. So thanks for tuning in, take care everyone, namaste.